setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. And good morning. This is Mike Lodge with the WBT. It's a beautiful morning here in Southern California, where I'm at at the moment. And I must tell you that when you see blue skies and you see the sunshine, you understand why so many people want to live in Southern California, especially during the wintertime. I think today it's going to be about 74, 75 degrees. So it's a pretty nice place to live. But I have to go back to South Carolina because I have some construction going on there. I need to make sure that everything's being done correctly. And that is being done at all. And uh, and then I'll be back in Southern California in about another week uh, to start working on corporate tax clients. But I wanted to spend just a few minutes. I was thinking about decisions and how we make our decisions and do we really put enough thought process in it. A lot of people ask me, why is it that you mix your religion or your religious beliefs in with your business? And you'll see me do that from time to time. And it's because it's, it gives me a moral compass. It gives me that direction and where I need to make my decisions. <coughs> Excuse me. So I was thinking about what has happened in the past two years with a friend of mine. And the decisions that he made that put him in a really bad place. And here's the deal is that. God gives us this Bible, and he tells us what is good and what is bad and how to make good decisions and who to stay away from and stay away from. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but he does that. He gives us this really good book. He gives us the Ten Commandments. He lays out the plan of what's good and bad and what we shall and shall not, what we should and should not do. And how much love we should give to God and also to those that are around us. So he gives us this really good book that gives us a moral compass. But he doesn't step into the next step and and force you to make those decisions. Those are decisions made by you. And I make those same decisions. Now we know the difference between good and evil. We know the difference of what is a bad decision and a good decision. But a lot of times when you're in business... This is matter of greed that comes up and you don't stop, you don't think, you don't pray about it, and you make a bad decision. And it affects your whole life when that happens. It can send you to some really bad places. So, the reason why I study God's Word is because I need help. And I study Buddha, and I study all kinds of different things to help me in other areas of my life. But I found that the book of, of what the, the, the Bible gives us a better direction on what the difference between right and wrong is. I've made some really bad decisions in my life. I've made bad decisions on who I associated with, who I brought into my business. And those decisions cost me. Now, it didn't destroy me because I don't believe in being destroyed because I know that with God's help, you can take a negative and turn it into a positive. You can take a crisis and make it into an opportunity. But you need a lot of help and you need a lot of guidance. But God doesn't make those right and wrong decisions for us. Now, he'll help you. He'll remind you. But we are human beings, and we make these decisions on free choice. And sometimes we make some doozy of decisions that get us in the wrong direction. So, I think it's very important that every single one of us take the time each day And think about good and evil, bad and good, ethics, unethical. We should put that into our mind process 
every single morning when we get, get up and we need to say, God, I need your help one more day. Help me, remind me to make the right decision in life. If we do that and if we focus on it, we will make those better decisions. And when there's a, a greedy decision to be made, we'll know how to make the decision to make it a good decision, a moral decision, an ethical decision, and most importantly, a godly decision. So over the course of the week, when you get up in, in the morning, you just have to say one simple thing, and that is, God, help me make it through one more day and help me make the right decisions. Help me know the difference between right and wrong. And if we do that, if you focus on it, you'll be reminded every single day that you are in control of your life. God is there to help you and give you guidance. But you are the one making the decisions. And you are responsible for your decision-making process. Think about it this week because I think it's really important that if you're in business, if you're in a, a job that you have to make decisions, make sure you make good decisions and make sure you stay focused. <clears throat> now, there's a book in the Bible called Proverbs. And I go to Proverbs a lot and I read it from forwards to, <coughs> excuse me, forwards to backwards, uh, forwards to the end. And I find that there is so many different things in there that I need to apply to my decision-making process, and it should always be in the back of my mind. So I encourage you, read the book of Proverbs. Start from the beginning and end it at the end of Proverbs. And if you need to, read it again and read it again, because you'll find that you'll be going back to certain verses that apply to you. But we need to make better decisions in our lives. We don't want crisis in our life. We don't want trauma in our life. We don't want to be faced with a situation where our decision may us destroy the, our future in our life. Decision making. The thought process of decision making is in your hands. Go out this week and have a great week. This is Mike Lodge with the WBT. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. World of Business and Taxes on WBT. This is brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518. Or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services.